Fun fact guys, I almost got this but then I got recommended to not get this. Whoa! I just want to say like to anyone who has a dream I don't know why I showed you that. Wow, so interesting to see me closing the door. Can you hear the fan? I don't care. I won't do it for you. Like, like, pussy, like. 10 minutes before my next class. Why am I doing this? Hi. I didn't really plan to like vlog, vlog, vlog today. I didn't even, uh, yeah, I just show you my makan. What? My makan, no. My makan, no. My makan just now. Because I need to show you what I makan. You know, I'm just, I'm just like that. So. This is actually weird because my So as you can see, or maybe you do, <laughs> maybe you can't, or whatever, like, somewhere behind me, besides this, I legit had to like, eh, eh, I legit had to move every single thing from here just to have place to sit. So basically, as you can see, you're right here, my people, is a bag. And as you could see from the title of the video, there is a camera. No, it's not, it was inside here, but it's not inside here. I have to go there and take but anyway, yeah, so I have a camera now and I thought I had more to say. So before I show it to you and whatever, cue the the vlog of me actually getting the camera. So they will, you, they will do all the focusing for you. You don't have to worry about it. Okay, and then it has eye autofocus. Okay. Three seven is the price. Yes, it's a number price. Okay. Remember, we're not going to. Okay. Yeah. Up here, lah, huh? Yeah. So we took the DOP course. Something like this. Uh, cinematic art. Ah. Yeah. Uh, local here. In in Limpak Wing or something like this, no? Uh, ah, yeah, that doesn't sound like here, then, no? It's in KL. Ah, yeah, KL. Okay. Okay. Fun fact, guys, I almost got this, but then I got recommended to not get this because it's just like a very point and shoot. You know, for a film student, I gotta get something else, and we ended up getting this one. This is a green button here. Camera is here. Put inside. Put inside. I'll give you a bigger bag. No, no Camera inside. Check again. Yeah? Okay. Here. Yeah? Yep. Yep. Alright. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah. Alright, thank you. Wow, that's good. Thank you. Alright, thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. <laughs> yes. 
151, my cluster set 2, I really really should not be doing this right now. Stupid eh? Stupid. Stupid or what? Yes, I'm stupid. So, I will see you later. <sighs> wow, wow, what was... <sighs> I'm finally free and I can talk to you about this camera. I want to do it right now because I don't think I can film it for the next like week because final project. So anyway, yes, I have a camera now and this is something that... I wouldn't say it's like my biggest dream, but memang since last time I wanted a camera. Maybe not since last time, last time, but like I always thought it would be so nice for me to have a camera because I love taking videos ever since I was small. I've been using a phone for a long time to film and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm very grateful that I even have a phone to film. I mean, there's nothing wrong. I've never felt like, oh, a phone is not good. I need a camera. No, no, no. But it's just that, you know, when I see YouTubers use camera, I see people use camera and stuff like that. I also like to take pictures of anything random that I like to see and like it's just... I don't know, I would feel like more of a videographer or something like that, you know, because I just thought it would be really nice to have a camera, but I never actually asked for one because they didn't really think there was a really a need for it, you know, and two, I can just use my phone, which I've been using. Again, like I said, there's nothing wrong with it. And also another thing is because I just thought it was just too expensive. And just, that's why since last time, I wanted a camera, been, been wanting a camera for around four years, three or four years now, but I never actually asked for it because of that. But then this year, uh, speci uh, specifically for this semester, which is my second semester in foundation, one of my subjects actually finally requires us to have a camera. I'm a film student, by the way, if you don't know. And yeah, so eventually I do need a camera. And since I'm not on campus, on campus they have, we can borrow cameras, that's what they tell us, there's like a depot there apparently. Uh, but I'm not on campus, so I can't use that. So I had to borrow a camera from uh, from a relative actually who was very nice to lend it to us, to me. And I'm gonna show you which one's that right now. Is it too dark? I think it's too dark. Okay. Yeah, so this is the camera that he lent me for class. And I honestly, I didn't know that we needed it that long. So I had to borrow it longer than expected. So yeah, so this is the camera. I think I showed it in the vlog. Yes, I did show it in the vlog. He said this is a Sony A6000, A600. I think so, and then the lens is something else, I don't, I don't, I don't know, okay. So yeah, this is the camera that he lent me. Anyway, yeah, so I'm super grateful that I got to use this, but then, yes, eventually, I mean, I can't borrow it forever. <laughs> so eventually, uh, my family, my mom and my brother decided to just buy a camera for me, which was like, wow. And the first camera that I thought of, because I actually don't know much about camera, I don't know anything about camera, is the first camera that I thought of was the Sony ZV-1 which is the one that I heard from from my favorite vlogger, one of my favorite vloggers. And it's a vlogging camera because I thought that's all I need. And so we actually almost went into the Sony ZV-1. But you gotta learn to listen to advice, okay? Especially if you don't know anything about something. Advice and research, obviously. I honestly didn't do a lot of research. Because like for me, I don't know why, I just don't really do a lot of research when I start stuff. It's just get the thing and then I learn how to use. You know, it's not like learn before I use. You know, for me, it's like a lot of things in life, guys. I jump off the cliff, honestly, like, some things in life, I just, boom, I jump off the cl cliff first before looking at the water, if you get what I mean. So I jump off first, then I find out whether it got rock or not, you know, and stuff like that. So I'm like, <laughs> I don't know why. So, yeah, so I, anyway, we follow advice, and according to the person who let me this, who is a photographer, and he knows a lot of stuff, knows way more about this stuff than me, and also a senior who gave me advice or so, they said, don't buy it, it's so easy to one. That one is for Buddha vlog only, <laughs> which is what I do. But I'm also a film student, and this is something that I actually need. It's not just like a hobby, like vlogging. It's actually something that I need in my studies while I'm sweating. So the advice, don't use the Sony ZV-1 because sensor can cheat and all of that. So, yeah, the other day I can't believe we actually went to get a camera. And it is this. Uh, we went there and actually uh, the person who you saw in the vlog, shout out to Theo. <laughs> it was super nice. It's actually the friend of the person who lent me this cameras so i uh, i mean the person who lent me this uh recommended to, for us to meet his friend at that at that guy so you want to see it can't believe this is mine you know when you can't really learn something you want for so long it's actually here so this is uh actually something that we didn't expect it. actually right next to this if you saw in the vlog right next to it was the sony zv1 so i got to see what it looks like this is so small so cute but i don't i don't yeah it's better for me to get this so he recommended us oh, why is it open so he recommended us to get this instead of we were gonna get I mean considering DSLR but then he said it's better to get this because this is mirrorless and this is kind of like everything is going to this like DSLR is kind of like an older technology so he, something like that so he just you know talked 
about this. He also said that this one is better than the Sony ZV because Sony ZV one, like I said, sensor kecil. And also this one, he said something like if you shoot in RAW, this one can store more because Sony ZV also can shoot in RAW, but it stores less of the info. So that I learned. So because for my future assignments, I do want to try shoot in RAW instead of JPEG because before this, I didn't shoot in RAW. So I really want to try shoot in RAW. So hopefully. Good, I guess. I don't know. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, raw. Okay, <laughs> this is a bit of a technology thing, okay? Camera thing. Basically, if you shoot in raw, it like stores all of the info of the photo. So, like, when you transfer the photo to your laptop and you want to edit in like Lightroom, right? Uh, it has all of the info. So, if you have JPEG, if, if you shot it in JPEG, it cannot. Uh, it, I mean, you can still uh, edit it. Like, I did. I still did edit my, my past assignments. But it's just that it doesn't store every single thing and raw is actually tied to a specific camera model and how do i explain this yeah it basically stores everything about a photo you can edit every single thing about it and you can edit more than if the photo was in jpeg so i really want to try shooting raw after this and it takes more storage actually so it's a good thing that this actually came with a 64 gig memory card hallelujah so uh, let's talk about the actual camera which i don't know anything about wait i don't even know the model we just went there and then we talk about it and then we buy it yeah preparations not gonna read <laughs> i don't even know the model of my camera wow sony is that a fish or is that an a sony alpha is that alpha like alpha beta like in at meds last time it's an alpha then so is it alpha 6400 i don't know so i googled it and it's just a6400 Go smart gila more involved in it. Anyway, yeah. So this is the cam Oh also fun fact. I actually found out like if you watch like the the, the vlog where I was talking about that other camera, the one where I borrowed, I couldn't transfer the footage that I took on video on that camera to my laptop and that's because I didn't know this. <laughs> but you actually need to record using the video mode. So I was recording I didn't know I had to switch to video mode. I was recording in auto. And I guess that's why the video couldn't save. So now I know if I want to take video, I have to do it in video mode. <laughs> also, like he told me, I have to remember which one is which. I think this one is aperture, shutter speed, like this this dial thing. Because I keep forgetting. And also I found out, if you watch that first vlog also, this screen, actually, it doesn't just go out like that. Remember like, I don't know if you watched that vlog. I was kind of confused because I was like, wait, why does the screen do this? Like for what can? Actually, the girl, you're gonna, you're gonna be amazed. See, so then I can do like that. <laughs> yeah, so yes, I can vlog using this. I can't believe it. I mean, it's not technically a vlogging camera gun, but I can. That's so cool. Like, at least I can flip the screen, you know? So I didn't end up getting a vlogging camera like I wanted. But it's so cool. <laughs> it's just weird because now actually, like, I remember when I bought the camera, my mom said, oh, this is the start of your career. Actually, my career has been starting for a long time, mother. <laughs> but like, it's actually cool that how we actually had to get it now. Like, something that I wanted since last time for like, kind of like a hobby. It's actually something that impacts me now. Like, this is gonna be with me through my assignments, you know? Even when I go to campus, when we can go to campus, I'm gonna bring this. It's just weird. I have this now. And it's just something very special. Like, even an instrument. Like, yeah, I could play my brother's guitar last time, but it was extra special when my mom actually bought it, my guitar, you know? And yeah, it's cool that I can use this, but it's just something extra, extra special about having one of this for yourself, especially if it's something that you're so passionate about. And it's just weird, because this used to be something that I didn't really need, like it's more of a, like a one, but now it's actually more of a need, because I won't just use this in my studies. This will help me learn and become a filmmaker, and actually like, you know, I like, yeah, so... What am I saying? I don't know. It's just weird to hold this right now, and it was expensive, it was 3000 plus, which is why I was very hesitant. I'm always hesitant to like ask for very expensive stuff, right? I think every kid is like that. You don't want your parents to spend like 3k then. But I know that this is a good investment if I'm a film student and aspiring to become a filmmaker. This can really help me and this is not just a one-time thing, you know? This is actually something that I'm really, really passionate about. <sighs> and we can upgrade the lens in the future. You know, this is the original lens, I think. I think? I don't know. I don't think we had a... Uh, extra lens. Oh, is it? Is this, is this the extra lens? I don't know. But yeah, with that being said, this is something that is really gonna start everything for me. So, if you're watching this in the future and I'm already a filmmaker or whatever I'm doing, just know that this was the very, very first camera I owned. That was actually mine. And its name, yes, it has a name. I named my stuff. Its name is Taco Cat. 
and this is the spelling. Don't ask why. It's a very special reason. This stupid reason also. I don't ask why. That's the name. That's the name. And this is the very first camera I had. So if somewhere in the future I'm a professional filmmaker, videographer, and maybe photographer on the side, I don't know. And I have a lot of camera. Just know that this was the very first one. This is like Billy Joe Armstrong's blue guitar or something like that. You know. So this this is it. This is my my friend now. I'm very very excited actually. I might start vlogging using it now. Just like wearing it like this, already makes me feel like. I'm actually a videographer or I'm actually a film student. I feel more professional in a way, you know? I remember my mom talking about it. She said like, this is my, this is a stethoscope. This is the equivalent of a stethoscope to a medical student. Like my brother, he's a medical student. This is, this is his stethoscope. So for me, it's a camera. You know, that thing, you know, that you have. I've been taking videos ever since I was small. I've always been taking videos ever since I was small. I, even before I had my own phone. And like kids nowadays already have like a phone X at like 7 years old. Han I had my first phone. It was a keypad Nokia at 12 years old, okay? And so like last time before I even had my own phone, I used to use my auntie's phone actually and take videos using my auntie's phone. And I used to put my soft toys in front of like a whiteboard and like draw the background, like draw jungle using the whiteboard marker. So like I put my soft toy in front and take video, they're in the jungle, you know? I used to do a lot of short films last time using my Barbie dolls also. And then growing up, you know, I got into YouTube and I started... My first videos that I ever did on YouTube were about dolls, actually. Like, I was really into... I wanted to make stuff for my dolls. Like, baju and stuff like that. TV and stuff like that. Lah. And then I started doing short films for my dolls as well. did some other short films also last time, just using my phone. And then I learned how to edit also, like, slowly. And then over the years, it's just... I've been... I've been taking videos for a long time. Even before I started YouTube. I started with YouTube six... Was it six years ago? Six, seven, eight, nine. 2015. Yeah, six years ago. When I was 13 years old. But even before that, I've already been taking videos. And now I'm here. As an actual film student. How time flies. Planning my own movies. Writing my own movies. You know? Now I have this. It's just crazy when you think about it. I know it's not a big deal to anyone watching. You know, no one watches this anyway. But it is a big deal to me. Because this has... It's not something that came suddenly. This is something that's been in me, been in the works for a long time. I've been doing this since I was small. I've been taking videos. I've been writing stories, actually. I used to write short stories. I used to attempt to write novels that I never used to have piece, you know, when I was a kid. It's always been in me to be a storyteller. To, and more specifically, to be a visual storyteller, since I like to take videos and photos and tell a story with that, you know, compare, eh, like combine it with my writing, you know, tell a story. That's why I used to take make short films also since last time and include what I love inside those stories like last time I had I used to make short films about me and my cat actually you can still find that I think it's on my music channel it's very old from 2016 it's just weird how the thing that you love has been there all along and you've been doing this for so long and you never imagined you would get here I mean obviously I used to imagine like wow camera you know but now I actually have it it doesn't it feels real but it also doesn't feel real but it also feels real because it's always been there this has been in a long time coming, I was eventually gonna do this. Just didn't know, and it costs a lot of money. But you know what? Somewhere in the fi this is just the beginning, guys. This is just the beginning. I am just in my foundation semester. This is just the beginning. You know, there's a lot coming for me. Amen. <laughs> it's weird. It uh, like ten year old me would never imagine that I would have this. Okay, this is getting really emotional, wow. <laughs> like I said, this is not a big deal to you. It's a big deal to me. So I'm actually gonna test it out. I mean, I already tested it out, but I'm just gonna do it for you. See, now I know how to toggle. <laughs> is it in video mode? Yes, honey. So I'm gonna take video of you. Hi. Look at that. Wait, why am I showing, why am I showing you the mess? Wow. This is you. I'm gonna zoom. Oh wait, sorry. I have to get used to this. I always forget that I'm not supposed to put my hand in front of this thing. Do you see that thing? Every time if I put my hand in front of there... Oh, it didn't work. Okay, usually the screen will go black. I'm not sure why. Obviously, I still have a lot to learn. I still have to watch a lot of videos and stuff on how to use it. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> it's just weird. I feel so much more professional, I guess. Like, I feel like I'm actually a videographer or something. So maybe from now on? I think I have a tripod somewhere. 
I do have a tripod. Wait, I'm gonna see if I can use for that. Then I can use it for vlogging. I mean, I can't find it, but I'll find it or I'll get a tripod for this soon. So I guess my next video or vlog will be on this. I'm not sure yet. The next future videos will be on this. And one of the coolest things is, I don't know why, but I find it so cool. Like, I, I don't know, I'm so easily satisfied by like little things like this. It's just like, I don't know, I can vlog and use my phone at the same time. I don't know, it's just, it's just weird. Can you imagine like, I wouldn't have to vlog using my phone anymore? That's weird to think about. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna stop this here because I'm gonna go eat <laughs> and finish my project. And like I said, I got final projects, so can't film for the rest of the week. So this is my last video for a while, I think. And it's nice to know that. And why is this so emotional? It sounds like I'm going like what? Going to Perang? Is it? No, no, no. It's, it's just that I don't know. I I will have to like stop filming for a while, even though I love the vlog and all that. No, honey, you gotta focus on your final. Last video, you. S no one watches my videos anyway. But <laughs> last video, you'll see from me in a while. It's just cool to know that I ended for now on this. And probably the next video you see will be filmed on this. Just can't stop looking at it and touching it. You know. I can't believe you're real. You're my new baby. That's so cool. And also, of course, I'm very, very grateful for this also. It's very nice to lend it to me. And that will be going back to its rightful owner very, very soon. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna end this here. Like I said, I wanna go makan and then finish my project and stuff. I just wanna say, like, to anyone who has a dream and you imagine yourself somewhere, don't ever give up on that. You know, if that thing was meant to be, I know I'm not even sure if I'm meant to be a filmmaker yet. I mean, I don't know what the future holds, but so far, it points to that, okay? Just know that all things happen at the right time, you know? I've always wanted a camera, and now I actually have one, and it will be put to good use. Just know that all things happen at the right time, and it will come to you. Like, if everything was given to you just like that, you would not appreciate it. You know, but if these things happen over time, like upgrades happen over time, I got a new phone over time, like upgraded camera quality, now I actually have a camera, like... These things happen over time. I got a better laptop over time. My editing got better over time. You know, if these things were just handed to you, if you had all of these professional things already from the start, you would not appreciate it. And that's why I really, really appreciate every single upgrade that I got. I was so happy when I got a mic, you know, and stuff like that. Because these things happen over time. And they happen in time. You know, in God's time. And that's why you appreciate it. You learn to appreciate everything. It's because you didn't have everything from the start. But if you are meant to do something, if you are meant to take videos or whatever, if you're meant to, I don't know, whatever dream or ambition you have, if it's really meant to happen, things will fall into place for that to happen. And I'm very, very grateful. My mom and my brother actually both paid for the camera for me. I'm very grateful for that. And I know I'm very blessed for that. Not everyone has that fortune, you know? Not everyone parents can buy them a camera. Family is not super rich also, but they support my dreams to become a filmmaker. That's why they do stuff like that. For me, I know not everyone has that. I'm very blessed to be able to say that I can have this. And I'm very grateful to Jesus also for this passion to create videos and tell stories and the ability to do that. <laughs> yeah, I think. Just don't give up. And be grateful for what you have. I've always been grateful for what I have, but it's also nice to have an upgrade. So I think I'm gonna go now else in a first video. God bless your day, your week, your month, your year, your life. God bless you and your families and don't forget Jesus loves you very much and Meow loves you very much and Meow is very grateful for you wherever you are. <laughs> and always remember to be grateful for what you have, okay?